Hello and welcome to Rock Solid Productions, where in this video, actually this is a live stream, I'm going to walk you around um, the grounds here. We are at RC Fest 2018, and I figured we'd kind of show you what's going on here, so I'm going to flip things around. There we go. So up there, that is the driver's stand for the TLR, or Team Low C Racing Cup, uh, that we are having. There's four different classes, A-Scale, Buggy, Electric, and Nitro, plus there's a Sportsman buggy class and a truggy which is basically um a monster truck mo uh, buggy come on over here we've got some cool trucks on hand we will have the raminator truck here later tomorrow i think here's our try me track and then if we look up in the sky we actually have a couple people testing out the the e-flight apprentice s basically designed for beginners. We'll walk on over there so people can check it out. Thanks for joining us here on this live stream. Uh, gorgeous day. Low 80s, light breeze. Kind of have a break at the track right now. They're watering it. Uh, up there, that's my home for the weekend, as I will be announcing all weekend long. But here you can see up in the sky, we've got a couple planes flying right now. Completely free to the public to check out. And this is in Monticello, Illinois. Lots of people having fun here, getting their hands on some T cars and trucks for the first time. There's the, again, the Reynolds towing service. Thing's pretty cool. And we have a rock crawler truck or track set up over here for people to try out different sorts of vehicles. Now today is just Friday, it's just the practice day. Hey Ryan, how you doing? And then this weekend we'll also have this is the freestyle area over here. And then we're also going to have either the Raminator or Ramunition monster trucks out doing a car crush. And over here on this part of the grounds, we actually have an RC tractor pull area. These are the guys from, uh, I believe it's uh, Chi Town. Let's see, what do we got exactly? ChiTownRC.com. So you actually have a scale. Oh, thanks, Ryan. Scale tractor pull there. Trying to get a full pull. Now, Ryan, this is what you need to get into. Look at that. The 3D and aerobatic stuff on the main runway. We'll walk you over there in a little bit. We also have a figure eight. And then these are the Big Squid RC guys. And then let's see, we've got the Proline tent over here. And these guys make some of the coolest tires, wheels, bodies, and accessories in all of RC. So, look at that, that's pretty bad to the bone right there. And then over here they're going to actually have like an NPRA monster truck. You can see the low minute, lo, no limits RC where they actually have the Christmas tree and everything. Let's come on over here. You also have a bit of a rock crawling track set up where you can kind of start your way there and work your way around and try to get through all the course. There's a zero taken off right there. I know, kind of boring walking from one end of the grounds to the next, but we'll kind of show you 
What's going on there? So what uh, what here would be cool analogy for original hardware versus clone? Um, so the best I can say is you have your original manufacturer, so that'd be like Losi, Team Losi Racing, um, uh, Team Associated, Techno RC, Tamiya USA, who are going to come up. They're like the OEMs of the vehicles themselves. And then you have the aftermarket manufacturers, so like Proline, who we talked to or saw back there, they create wheels and bodies and tires to help bring your vehicle to the next level. So here we're coming up on the Castle Electronic booth and they basically make motors and electronics to make your car and truck faster. Hey Edgar, how you doing? Now these, this is one of my favorite booths here. This is the Tamiya USA booth. Look at this thing. This is the, the night hauler and it's basically a 1 14th scale tractor trailer. Super Cloud Buster, I need to get my hands on one of those. I've wanted one of those for years. The Blackfoot, the original one, and the lunchbox next to it, those date back to the early 80s. So you have very classic vehicles, just like you have your classic consoles. And then they're on road, we call them touring cars. And then these are pretty cool. You know, very popular in the Japanese market. Not as popular here, but this is the mini four-wheel drives. Um, if you remember back in the 80s, there was record breakers. These are very similar to record breakers. And that, again, that is Tamiya USA. Let's walk you out towards the flight line a little bit. We'll get you some planes. Because the planes, especially like the Warbirds, are just gorgeous. And you can get Warbirds like, so here is... Um, a T28, one of the most popular models out here, and you can see the size of that. And then look at the Thunderbolt back behind it. And you even have, like look at the Pennzoil jet behind here too. Hi Jojo! And I'm live right now. Oh yeah, hey, what's going on? So when you're outside in the sun, in the sun enjoying your music, make sure that you don't do like our famous uh, Steve Ricciardo did, because because uh, we were listening to his uh, workout uh, music and uh, his phone was like, this is just way too hot, way too hot. Uh, maybe the playlist was too hot. Thermal but, shutdown. Yeah, thermal shutdown basically. So Android so, for the win. So and now this is the Super Chipmunk here. And that is an actual ducted fan jet, runs on turbine fuel and everything. You know, beautiful, uh, I believe that's a Taylor craft there. The E Flight Blonix. So that's considered to be a sailplane, but then that has a little turbine up top, so you don't need a tow plane to take off with it. Um, nice P38 Lightning there. And there you can kind of see some of the guys up on the flight line as the Zero flies by. Yeah, so my hobby is our video games. This is my real job, guys, so I know it's tough. Hi, Pete. Well, and these aren't even all that many, Edgar. Um, you figure, like, looking at the RAF plane here, nose to tail, you're looking about two feet. So versus some of the bigger ones, those are probably four, four and a half feet. And then let's walk by the Pitbull Tires booth because this thing is badass. Thank you all for stopping by too. I really appreciate it. I know not the, the typical RC, I'm sorry, not the typical video game stuff, but just something else that I am very involved in, have been for almost 25 years. So look at this bad boy here. Look at that rig, it's crazy. That looks like something straight out of Mad Max. So, if you're here in the chat, make sure you say hi. We'll kind of check things out here in the Pitbull booth. Yeah. 
awesome looking Jeep. Super custom. So now Pitbull, this would be the equivalent of like a retro bit, I would say, as far as look at all the accessories that they make with different tires and whatnot, different inserts, the foam that you put inside the tire itself actually changes how the tire hooks up on different, uh, uh, different surfaces. Now we'll walk you back through the airplane booth here. Look at that zero go by. Damn, that thing's awesome. So. Old World War One Warbird. Cessna 150s. Um, Aaron, you tell me what you want and I'll get you hooked up with something. Seriously, I'll get you started in this. If there's anything you guys see that you want a closer look of, let me know. I'll stop and give you a closer look. Kids have always wanted an RC car, but they are so expensive. Dude, I can help get you into RC for under 120 bucks retail cost. Such is the deal, you know, pay retail, my friend. Oh, good Lord, I hate Green Day. Hopefully the music in the background doesn't get me demonetized, but it probably will. So this is one of the cool planes that just recently was announced. This is the V900, just a super fast speed plane designed by Matt Andron. And then just a, a bigger T28 as well. I think that's the uh, Carbon Z T28. And I'll take you down over this way. So we've got some uh, some helicopters going on, but I don't know if anything's flying right now. Uh, this is the Central Illinois Drone Racers Club. How's the video, by the way, guys? Let me know if it's stuttering at all. Um, I'm actually connected via cellular, so I'm, I'm hoping everything is good, but you tell me if it's not. So there, it looks like they're either tearing down or setting up the course. Um, so they've got a number of different gates and whatnot that they're going to go through. And, uh, I mean, we've got so many PAs and announcing things and speakers uh, going on this weekend. And like I say, I myself will be announcing all weekend long at the TLR Cup. So you can kind of see some of the FPV or first-person view racing that they're going to have to follow to go through the different gates and whatnot. It's kind of hoping some of the heli guys we find, those guys are crazy. I just, I can never hope to fly as well as they do. And I can fly a little bit. But no, Riff, honestly, if you want to get into RC, I will help you. I will give you all the information you need and give you great suggestions, at least in my humble opinion, as far as what you need to get started and be successful. So we'll kind of give you a, a shot down here too. Oh, it's already been going 15 months. My brother from another mother. What's up? J Diz fishing live. Hold on. <laughs> live on Rock Solid Productions. What's up, brother? How you doing? Good. So uh, if people want to learn more about kayaks and fishing, where do they need to go? Check me out on Facebook or Instagram, uh, also on my uh, YouTube channel. Check us out, J Diz Fishing, J A Y D I Z Fishing. All the socials. There you go. <laughs> Good to see you, JD. All right. All right. Saw a couple questions come in there. Uh, I'm going to go this way real quick so I can try to see that. Uh, it's not going to let me do it. Damn it. Um, sorry I missed that chat. If you guys want to paste it again, I'll try to see if I can find it and, and see it. And we're going to check out the. Tamiya track that we have in here. It's JoJo again. Puts the lotion on its skin. I will. Seriously, dude. 
I know. We don't have EMTs here. That just means I get off of work early. So this is the Mini Z track, or Mini Four Wheel Drive track, not Mini Z. That's Kyosho. No, this is Tamiya. Say hi to Mr. Gary Demery. We are live right now. So, and those are the Tamiya Mini Four Wheel Drives. Run off of two double A's. Two double A's. And uh, basically they have the big tracks that you can run at different events, but they also have the small tracks so that you can take it home and have some fun too. And let's see. Are these, are, uh, they actually use batteries and fuel depending on the type of vehicle you're looking at. So the airplanes, 90% of what I just showed you, they're all electric. Um, just a few airplanes to choose from here at the event where people can actually take the fun of the uh, hobby home with them. You can check them out on horizonhobby.com or towerhobbies.com now too. And uh, you know some of the different drone options that are out there. And rock crawlers, monster trucks are always big. These things are cool. I think, Aaron, I think you would love these with the kids. The uh, the Rogue Wave, it's a 10-inch self-riding hydroplane boat, uh, or F-formula-type boat. The rock crawlers, the rally cars. I, I need one of these. I need one of those. I have wanted a Cloudbuster for years. They even now, Riff, I think that'd be ideal for you and for... Uh, for Mikey, it's the short bus. Um, some of the other boats, too, that are really cool. This thing is crazy fast. And then the nice thing about everything here, too, is they're what's called hobby grade cars and trucks. So let's say you break a suspension arm on this guy here, you can get just the suspension arm and, and repair or replace that part. Um, the Super Baja Ray down there that is a considered one-sixth or one-fifth scale short course truck. We'll be doing some demo races with those tomorrow. The Losi LST 3XL, it's the third generation electric monster truck. The Losi Tenacity MT, Tenacity Monster Truck, four wheel drive. And these are some of the Axial and Arma vehicles as well. Very cool, highly detailed trucks. And then this bad boy. Ryan, you need one of these. This is the LOC MTXL, fifth scale gas monster truck, or the Monster Truck XL. Um, those things are so much fun. And then there's also, that's the 5T, which is a one-fifth scale short course truck pattern after like uh, the full scale short course out there um and then there's the dbxl the desert buggy extra large can and edition and then here's just some of the uh the try me tra or try me drones and helis that are out there helicopters still really popular and all electric powered on these guys And then here's some of the uh, the Vatera vehicles. They've got the so the rock crawlers, the K10, and the based on what's called the Ascender chassis. And then for those who prefer to go low but not quite so slow, we have the V100. That's a C10 pickup and an F100. I think it's a 69 F100 Ford. And this guy here has working headlights and taillights in it. The the others you can put those in. ECX is a great beginner line. And what I'd recommend for uh, Riff and his kids, do we have an amp out here? We don't. But it looks very similar to this guy here. It's called the Amp. And they are, oh, I want to say $129.99. Everything's included in the box, comes pre-assembled. Uh, all I have to do is take out the battery pack and charge them, and you can get and go run. Um, and then these are some of the Arma vehicles, too. And that one's kind of neat. That's a new rock crawler that was just announced called the Hammerjaw. Um, let me see if I can find an amp. There's got to be an amp around here somewhere. Um, some of the FMS models. There's the, uh, the Explorer, the Aerobatics from Force RC. 
cool thing too is a lot of these planes you can get floats for so you can fly um, off of water and whatnot. It's my old boss, Pete Vogel, right there. Didn't even say hi as he was walking by. What a jerk. Uh, this is the E Flight Apprentice S. So these are, it's a, a trainer that's designed to, there's software in it called Safe, so it limits how far you can bank left or right. It has a panic switch you can hit that'll self level you and everything too. Um, and these also are just, they're great flying airplanes. And then there is the Timber, and this you can get. Uh, yeah, no, not at all. Um, and this is the timber, and this you can also get floats for. And then if you look here, there's the mini timber. And this is the Cirrus 22 ST or SRT. I'm a car guy, guys, but um, uh, the Consendo Advance is a really cool. Um, sailplane and it's got a powered motor an electric motor on the front end so a lot of times the sailplanes what you have to do is have a tow plane to take you up it can do it all itself uh, the convergence and the mini f27 and then you still have like the mini t28 Trojan. like i said that is a very popular plane so let me see here what we can do where is there an amp? There's got to be an amp kit. Here we go. So I'm going to pull these out a little bit so you can kind of see what the box art looks like. So that's called the Amp MT. And like I said, I think they're 130 bucks. Everything's in the box and it comes pre-assembled, pre-painted for you. All you have to do, charge up the battery pack and everything and you're ready to go have some fun. See, they at least said hi. Not Pete, no, Pete's rude. Let's see, what else do we have? Um, well guys, I actually think that's pretty much it. There's Mr. J.D. John Denise again. Um, so, yeah. That's kind of what I'm doing here this weekend. Um, I'm gonna do stuff this uh, probably tomorrow night with the fireworks where I will show you. Uh, before we sign off, did you guys have any questions I could answer for you? Wow. Try to get you some flying going here too while we're at it. Hopefully I'm bad uh, shaky cam right now. We've got a number of people on the flight line ready to go. Um, you know, at this point they may actually, yeah, there's people up on the driver's stand. I'll take you back up to the track. Look at that thing. That thing's gorgeous. Do a slow flyby. <sighs> but let's check out, see if there's anyone on the big racetrack right now. Do you guys like seeing this type of thing? Since it's not art, or since it's not a video game, not your thing. Do you want to see more of this? Not see less of it? Like I say, trying to not do the shaky cam thing too badly it's about 85 degrees and i've been out here since 10 o'clock this morning uh like rc oh oh edgar did not see that you were leaving i don't know if you're still here or not but thanks for stopping by die hard thanks for stopping by as well i appreciate seeing you let's go take a look at some of the monster trucks we didn't get a good close-up of that and uh like I say, just kind of walk you around. So it looks like here's the starting gate on the monster truck race. You go down and around, and I think you go up that far lane, over the jumps, back around down here, and no, because you got to come back this way. I don't know how this layout's supposed to work, but here, let's see, we've got someone traversing the course here. Uh, Ryan, best I can say is no comment. Oh! I'll tell you, this is probably one of the biggest segments of the hobby right now is the rock crawling and the scaling. They have an annual, I don't want to call it a competition, but it's a festival they call um, Axio Fest every year out in California. And they have thousands of people that show up to basically just run rock crawling tracks with their RC stuff. 
Here we have Freestyle RC has got their stuff set up here. So it kind of give you a... Hey guys! A look inside the chassis. There's a lot to them going on and there's not a lot to them going on. So and the cool thing, if you want to customize your ride, what you can do is you can get a platform like one of this, one of these, and say you want a Dodge body or a Chevy or a GMC or a Ford, you can basically put whatever body you want on any of these vehicles as long as it's the right wheelbase, right width, all that, and then you can custom paint them as you see fit. Okay, so this is pretty bad to the bone. It is a dual nitro engine monster truck. Actually, is this a Kyosho K-Force? Uh, uh, Megaforce. Megaforce. Well, Megaforce kind of with combined with Megaforce. Okay. Those came out about 15 years ago-ish? Yeah. It just means I'm old. <laughs> Here's a different look here at the figure eight track for everyone, too. Um... So yeah, I'm going to wrap things up here. I'm going to get back up on the driver's stand. I would custom paint my own. I do my own paint schemes. I've run uh, basically a, an orange, blue, and white that I've run for, let's see, since 2004. I've been into the hobby since I was a freshman in high school, so 1992 or three. Here's some of the other rock crawlers going here. So the nice thing with the rock crawlers is they're a little bit slower and easier for beginners to handle, but they've got the torque to go up and over a lot of different obstacles. And let's dive in here. We'll walk you through the pits a little bit. Because this is the TLR Cup is basically the name of the the series races being run here this weekend. And yes, there are drivers who are actually paid to race RC cars. So we're gonna peek in over Nick. Hey Nick, we're live right now. How you doing? Good. How you doing? So this is when I talk about an A scale electric buggy. This is kind of what we're talking about here. So um, you have an electric motor and there's your battery pack there that powers it and uh, per charge what do you say that you get for for run time it depends on how hard you run it i mean we race 10 minute races okay um, for it, but I mean, you can run 15 minutes probably a little bit more depending on how hard you push and top speed these guys at this scale 35 40 miles an hour maybe more again depending on how high you want to do it well and a lot of it with this too is you're not always geared towards top speed you want that lower end acceleration to get you out of the hole uh, to get you up and over different obstacles and one of the cool things too is everything you see on this car is customizable so the shocks you can put different springs on different sway bars you know change the tires to different tread patterns and everything change the gearing of the motor to adjust if it accelerates harder has more top speed so and that's what one of the uh, the electric cars look like so thanks nick so we'll go over here we'll take a look at one of the nitro cars somewhere 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 we'll go over here. We'll, we'll bother brian mello hi brian mello Oh no, he's running electric. Yeah, we need a nitro car. Uh, we'll go look at Joe Bornhorse from Team Techno. Uh, actually, Joe is gone, so all right. Well, we'll still look at his stuff though. How small do these cars get in scale? Um, I mean, you can get 136 that gets pretty small. So I'm going to show you this one here. This is called a Truggy. And this is half monster truck, half buggy, what I was just showing you. But here's the, the engine and the fuel tank. The tires are larger uh, and wider. The overall wheelbase is longer. The chassis is wider, too. Now, in comparison, this is, uh, yeah, I, I, I'd have to go back to the hangar. I don't have any 36 ones over here. Um, but I'll post it on Twitter later on today, uh, Ryan. So this is a nitro power buggy, and it's powered by basically a an alcohol-based fuel. So here's your fuel tank here. You can tune the engine with different tuned pipes. The engine here is a .21 size engine, which is, I forget what the CC rating of it is. 
Um, but the radios we use, some guys have ones that, like my radio, actually uses Android um, for the operating system on it. And we'll take you up on the uh, next to something we could recognize for comparison. All right. Actually, if you go further back, some of the smaller ones that I showed you on the racks, those were 36 scales. I, I know that it's kind of hard to... No, nope, it is a specific... Uh, it's actually... Alcohol isn't correct. It's a nitromethane is basically what it is. Um, and it is a a 30% nitro uh, blend. And that blend is important because with like some of the helicopters and airplanes, sorry, it's getting loud, hang on. With some of the helicopters and airplanes, because they're more air-cooled than what these have, um, they don't need quite as much oil content. No, not Brasso. Bright boy, but not Brasso. So, here's two, uh, we call them gas, they're not gas, it's, it's actually a nitromethane vehicle. Coming around. And actually, like I say, it's not funny because I learned about Bright Boy through RC racing. Now, on the gas cars, Woo! Uh, actually, for the qualifiers, they run timed qualifiers. It's basically who can turn the most laps in six minutes. For the main events, for the 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 very the top fastest guys, basically it's uh, a timed event. Uh, but we are doing this just for spectators. We're going to actually do laps, and um, we're going to do 60 laps for the main events, and that will equate to about half an hour. The gas cars, the nitro cars, will stop between every seven and ten minutes for fuel, and they will do pit stops on the fly. For the electric-powered cars, they don't do battery changes on the fly, so they will um, get, I think we're aiming at 20 laps right now for their main event, which will run them about ten minutes. So, and there you can see a Truggy on track. We've got a nitro, or no, two electric buggies behind him there. So, yeah, that's, you see the guy down there? That's Pete Vera. That's my, my old boss. Didn't even say hi. What a jerk. So, I think that's going to wrap it up for me here, guys. I'll be back tomorrow with some more stuff. Um, think of questions, Ryan. I will tweet you some pictures of 36 scale ve uh, vehicles later on. And uh, above and beyond that, thanks everybody for watching. If you check out horizonhobby.com on their Facebook page, um, they'll have pictures and videos and other stuff.